Zach Brown joins us as our star of the game presented by the Kansas Lottery. And a lot of people played well tonight, but we thought mm -hmm. one of the real keys to this game was your performance on Paris Lee defensively. And talk a little bit about the challenges he presents for someone as much bigger as you than you as much bigger as you are, but also how you can use that link to your advantage. Oh my goodness, uh, I got to give it to Paris Lee. He's one of the quickest dudes I, I've ever <laughs> had to guard, uh, and it was tough. I was gonna lie to you. He had me he had me beat a couple of times, but I said thank God. He made me 6'7". I had the length and the, the ability to get back in position to contest shots and, and make him go the way he went today. Well, as he was leaving the arena, he was still looking over his shoulder trying to figure <laughs> out where you were. You just made his life <laughs> miserable tonight. No, that's, that's my boy, though, man. That's my boy. How are you? Yeah, two for 11. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I, I was, it was, it was, I, I made sure I, I made it tough for him. Uh, we actually we talked about this before the game. Well, all right, we're going to go up in here. Coming into the game, though, the whole team seemed to be very, very confident from the get-go, not hoping that they would win, but convinced that they were going to win from the opening tip. Oh, yeah, we believe that we believe that, that we deserve to be the number one team in the conference, and we deserve to be uh, nationally recognized. And we, like, this game, this game, I say it was one of the best games that we've all played together. It was absolutely thorough. Uh, everybody, everybody played their role and played it to perfection. Uh, everything, everything that that we did in practice uh, transferred into the game. And thank God, thank God, we we've been taking things like that very, very seriously. You know, we talked quite a bit earlier in the year. You came back from a tough stretch in the Bahamas and, and really mm -hmm. got things going again. But one of the things that had happened to you down there was when your offense stalled, it was kind of affecting your entire game. You've been through a stretch recently where you haven't scored much, but your defense has remained strong. And certainly tonight, you got the motor going <laughs> again on the offensive end. Yeah. Uh, be, being in my position and playing with with gifted guys, that, that guys like, Marcus McDuffie and Connor Frankamp and and Daryl Willis, Shaq Morris, Landry, uh, Deshaun, Richard, all all these all these guys. Well, I, I feel like that, that's one of our biggest strengths. We have so many people that could attack you either which way, and everybody has their own style of doing it. And some some nice dudes dudes are able to get theirs and and do what they need to do to help us win. And some nice guys don't, but at the same time, defensive rebounding always carries. And that's one thing I've always prided myself on, no matter what happened. Well, another one of the many things you do well, you've got reflexes like a cat. Twice you were going into the basket when a big man had the ball, and they sent a bullet pass to you from about three feet away. I don't even know how you caught it, but you caught it and scored on both of those passes, <laughs> one from Rano. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, I've been, been working, on, working a lot on cutting without the ball and, and figuring out new ways to – to affect the offense without dribbling, uh, one one. Uh, I'm pretty sure, and Clay Thompson. I don't even know if I got this right. It's 51 point game or something like that. He dribbled the ball 11 times. <laughs> Whoa! That's, that's, that's absolutely amazing. And, and I know, I know, coach. Coach, um, he's he's mentioned to me uh, one two dribble pull up one shoot your shot. Uh, do what you need to do. But I'm I'm trying to trying to figure out my way still through this offense and every single day we we're getting chemistry together and we're getting better uh to go along well with and part of that's there's so many combinations good combinations but mm -hmm. you have to work with so many different players in there and now it just as you said all seemed to gel tonight oh yeah uh we're getting we're getting to where we need to get to but this is only one game uh we still have six more in conference to go and then hopefully way more before that. You sound like a coach. You, know, <laughs> you kind of answered my next question. While you're in a more prominent role this year, you've been a part of a couple of championship teams already here. And is this is now the time really for you to kind of step forward and lead some of the newer guys on this is how you finish off a championship run? Of course, of course. There's a lot of guys who hasn't been through the things that, that the vets have gone through and held the rings that the vets have held. And I know... I know these guys. They want it. They work. They work real hard. Uh, we've been in the gym constantly. Uh, guys, like like guys like CJ, CJ Rashard, Deshaun, uh, other guys, other guys who who started to follow suit and just getting the gym and, and working on ourselves and working on our game. Uh, that's that's completely helped us out, and we're just continuing to move forward and push forward.
And I, I honestly can say I'm this is one of the proudest I, I've ever been of this team, uh, just from the standpoint of, of how well we all play together. It's a good feeling. Well I hope done. you can keep it up many more times this year, Zach. Yes, Thanks sir. for spending some time with us. Congratulations. Thank you. Zach Brown, our star of the game.